It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Boxer. Delighted to have with me Florian Marku. Florian, it's great to see you today. Firstly, how are we? Hello, my friend. Nice to see you too. I'm great. Thank you. Just your reaction first to the, to the press conference. Um, you spoke a lot. You, you made everybody laugh in the audience as well. Uh, just how did that go for you? It was good. Uh, I think Congo was quieter than uh, I thought. He didn't have nothing to say. I think now he has started realizing the pressure that he is coming to him. You know, me, I love what I'm doing. This is my life. I'm enjoying every moment of it. He, he's not enjoying. He's in stress. He's panicking. And I say, when I saw him face to face, I say, you are a coward. And you're going to sit Sunday. Would you say this is your toughest fight to date? No, brother. I've given so many fights in my life. You know, people doesn't know my history. I started from a kickboxing big names. I beat some big names in kickboxing. Uh, in boxing, I think Chris Jenkins was good. Uh, Dylan was good also. I think Chris Congo is good level, very good level. He's a good name here in UK. I, I, I will not say that he's better than my last opponents in boxing, but he's a good fight, fighter. Obviously, I know the fight on Sunday is between yourself and Chris, but he has a great trainer, you have a great trainer. Is, does it also come back, come to the to tactics that both trainers come up with on, on Sunday? We work on many things. We are, don't work in tactics because in the ring, you, can, you, you must not be uh, waiting only for one thing because the other guy, maybe, maybe I go orthodox or southpaw in the ring. He can prepare how much as he wants. When I will start throwing some punches in his head, he forget everything that he learned. Last time out, uh, it was a demolition job. Um, I, I remember speaking to you, wasn't too happy that you were fighting kind of really early in the card. You're right almost at the top of the card, so you're, you're looking forward to uh, having all your fans see you um, put on, on, on a great job. Yes, it's a nice, uh, nice arena, full of people. I think 28,000 people are going to be uh, Sunday night there. And something else we didn't mention. They called me yesterday I didn't know that I'm fighting for a belt. They put me to wait today for the check weight. I had to lose two and a half kilos, I think. Nobody knew. But I say, okay, I'm professional. Me and my team, we was ready for everything what they ask. And now we're fighting for the belt. And with the help of God, this belt is coming home with me on Sunday night. Obviously, I believe you've had around 70 odd rounds in your boxing career. He's had around 80, 82, 83. There isn't a lot of difference in terms of the time you both spent in the ring. Mm -hmm. So does it just come down to on the night who's going to be the better man? Who will be the better man? Who wanted them more? And who is better? And I'm going to show it Sunday that I'm a better fighter. And after this fight also, people will start putting a little bit more respect on my name. How does the fight end? Me by stoppage. Well, we look forward to a great fight, Florian. But just before I let you go, just gonna ask you a couple of other quick little things. Obviously, a man that you've been calling out for a long time, Conor Ben, recently heard that the the board have won their appeal um, to be officially confirmed. Just your reaction on everything that's happened over the last 18 months, 24 months with him, and and just boxing and the stain on boxing. I think it's hard. It's hard for him because I put my my place to to his situation, going out. For so long of the fighting, he's young, now he's his best time that he should fight very often. I think it's hard and uh, I don't know what is going on with his, uh, with his thing, but maybe he must, I don't know, he must move somewhere else to fight and, or he must uh, clear himself to them. I don't know, but it's not good for him. Does Adam Azim take the fight to fight your stable mate, Dalton Smith? I don't know. He's up to up to him. I think uh, Dalton is a, is a great fighter, and I've said from the beginning when I I saw him, he hits hard. He's uh, very technical, smart in the ring, and I think he's the best uh, in the world in his uh, weight class. Let's end on a very positive. How are the children? How is life? Any more children on the way? Uh, well, I have two now. I have a boy and a girl. And thanks God, I'm good. For the moment, we are not, uh, we are not working on uh, a new, uh, um, one more baby, but yeah, everything is good. Thank you. It's 
they are in Albania. They are waiting for me. I put them there for 45 days away from, uh, from me, only for me to focus more, to be more clear and focus for that fight. Can't wait to see them. You are a very religious man. You're a firm believer in God. Um, it is the month of Ramadan. I know you're not fasting because you're, you're in war and you're, you are going to be fighting, obviously. But uh, what does the month mean to you and, and, and also uh, to those celebrating and participating in, in the month as well? Brother, this month for me is everything. My belief in God is strong and my belief in God makes me who I am today. And my belief in God makes me winner in the fight because I believe everything happened for a reason. And uh, I'm, uh, it was not on my, my, on my hand. This is my work. This is where I take my money to live and to, to provide for, for my family. And I, I didn't have another choice. But all the days that I have missed from the fasting, I'm going to fast it after the fight. Florian, we wish you all the best. And we'll hopefully catch up with you after the fight on, on yeah. Sunday. Thank you, brother. All the best. Thank you. I've got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.